Righto, hello and very, very welcome back to Auto Mobilista 2. And if I open up the game, I might actually be able to verify that it is working. And we just need to make sure that the stream actually goes live as well, which I have running over here because I'm a, I'm a professional me. I've got things set up over here. I have, we've started it here. Things are looking right over there and things are happening over here. So yes, and I've definitely got to tab into the right thing right now because uh, I've got a couple of streams of things going in the background that I've paused. So yes, here we are. We've got a bloody great overrating coming to Automobilista 2. And I thought I'd have a look here at some entirely sensible and realistic simulations of over racing here. We're going to start off with what I decided to call NASCAR because um, it's German NASCAR. Here we are, we're going to do 40 laps in the uh, German Group A's at uh, also known as Gateway just outside St. Louis, Missouri. So we're going to see what happens. It's also the 5th of August. Uh, I don't know anything about the weather in Missouri at that time of year, this time of year, really earlier this month, but uh, I'm hoping it's good. But uh, we do have wet weather tyres for this thing, so it'll be fine if it rains. Also, I don't need to put my gloves on just yet. 40 laps. The track temp is 55. The Thank you. Is 28 Celsius. Yeah, we may want to bang in a bit more fuel. I'm just going to bang in far too much fuel. Like, there we go. That's far too much fuel like at all but that's good so we're gonna go in here and we're gonna be ready and oh boy this is uh, uh, prepare for race start yep i'm ready i'm ready apparently i'm starting on the outside line here thanks to steve soper i got van schneider and keke rosberg and then johnny chicotto green 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 boogity 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 We are racing at Gateway for DTM. Just video games are entirely sensible here. Yes, here we go. Fifth gear. Yeehaw. Uh, I need to break here a bit. Are oh, we going to be high? We're going to be high. Oh, we've been taken. Oh, contact! It's Ben Schneider. I'm in the middle. Jesus wept. The woman's telling me I'm three wide in the middle. I am four wide. <laughs> DTM at Gateway and oh, I'm going in the fence here. Oh dear. Oh dear. I mean, given the fact that we, I mean, oh, oh I need to watch that replay because uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure, right, that we went like three wide. Four wide, actually. So, so, let's see here. Have I absolutely lost the plot just yet? I'm not sure. But here we are. Oh, yeah, there's contact coming out of turn four. Coming down the front stretch. It's all looking fine. And here we're looking down the inside. That's called three wide in the middle. Our holding line into the lead. There we go. Now on the outside, outside their contact there with Bernd Schneider. Down here and three wide. Four wide. <laughs> oh, that is so stupid. Oh, my word. Okay, let's just go back. Let's just say, okay, uh, great camera angle here, lads. Okay, so let can we go to Roland Ash here? 
go maybe on board with him. That's not on board. He's rotating wildly around. So that's... That's not a great view here. Why are we... Why are we looking to the far right? I'm aware we're in Germany. I think these are Germans. So there's a... Why are we also rotating here? Whee! It's the Tombola. Uh, can we then do... There we go. That's what we needed. Yeah. See, what we have here is four wide in the, once again, entirely sensible racing series right here. So um, let's just quickly grab a screenshot of that because fucking hell. Oh, yep. Okay, we'll restart that one because we only got about two laps in before we had a massive death ball. So uh, let's try this once again. This time without all the fire, hopefully. Nope, nope, nope. I've, uh, what's happened there is I've, I've fucked it again before we even start it. So let's try and restart it this time without crashing massively into anybody. It's a nice outside here. So here we are, Das car, the race, at Gateway, ready to come underway here. Boogity, 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 let's go racing, Germans. Uh, spotter, am I, uh, oh, I messed that one up massively, haven't I? We're gonna get mugged down here. We're gonna get mugged. Yep, there comes Steve Sober. Oh dear. And Keke Rosberg as well through. And let's get into the draft here. Yeah. Oh dear. Contact there. Awfully sorry, Steve Soper. That may be... No caution. Ain't no caution here, boy. Yeehaw! Uh, on my right, okay. Roger. I think we're all doing 37s here, really, apart from me when I mess that one up massively. I need to follow Wall and Ash here. I need to get going. We need to get bump drafting. It's it's Das car. Robin Drayson. Yes, I know it's Schneider. Okay, so maybe we need to push it in harder into the corner. And of course, coast a lot further in it. That's what you do in NASCAR. Uh, I'm sorry, DASCAR. Oh, he's in the fit. He's in the wall. Whoa! Steve Soper. Oh wow, look at that. That's quite hot for that front right. need to change her driving style to suit this but uh, we'll make it work ah oh, 
again, just not not patient enough on the throttle. That's the fourth gear. Are we going to get past on the outside? Oh, you don't say. How's, um, how's our engine temperature? Can I get an engine temp check, please? Again, just too early on the throttle. Forces out wide. So we're going to drop a few positions here, but we might be able to get them back later on. I'm seeing some smoke hit. Oh, wow. Is that Ravaglia uh, driving me hard into the fence? Are we in behind Wayne Gardner? The Australian racing DTM in America on an oval. Again on the throttle when I don't need to be. Yes, I know, my right front tire is hot. Use the curb. It's like the force in the fence. So soon. Was it? Wow! Jesus Christ, man! Do you work for the US Postal Service? You were sent it so hard. Was a There's some odd sound in the car. I can definitely hear a knock sound here. Which is worrying given that there's still 30 laps to go. We're only about a quarter of the way through. So hearing that metallic sound right now, don't think that's good. I can see the oil temperature all the way over, which you, of course, can't. sound over 6,000 RPM in fifth. We might want to try next time shift down and see if we hear that weird sound again. When we are in fifth. But it definitely sounds driveline related. Oh dear, we got somebody right up our back door. Surprisingly, I don't think these German Group A cars were made to do oval racing, which is probably why they sound a bit second hand now. Also, I am using the default setup, which might also explain some of the uh, weirdness here. Oh dear, we've hit Wayne Gardner there, or Dwayne Garner. Legally different, of course. But we need to get up here, try and see what we can do. Need to twiddle you down a bit, because... I 
don't think we're going to make it to the end on this front right. So we may want to consider a pit stop at some point. Well, I don't know if that's just me. tweaking strategy here so we have tyres selected we're on lap 15 here and that front right is uh, pretty much done already We're going to be close to the fence. Oh, wow. I mean, as long as we get to lap 20, we can pit for fresh front right. That really is a main goal right here. Left side. Well, I will say, the AI is doing a pretty decent job here. Well, hello, up my inside there. Somebody's on my outside now, apparently. Oh, we, I mean, Hana. Patient, but we made it out of the corner. But I wonder what happens if we run out of tyre with a new damage modeling thing that they also added. Will it go pop? Or will we just have a pretty catastrophic loss of uh, traction on that front right? We'll find out. Let's get some sad breath going. The sad breath. The 
see if we can follow him through. Yeah, we can. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, we got the slipstream here. Bump draft. That's just a bump draft. German bump draft. I mean. I'm right down by the white line and still I get told I'm in the middle. Really feels my confidence. We're running this into the fence now. Oh, we're gone. Apparently, a car sitting sideways across the front straight away isn't enough to bring out a, uh, a commotion here. I needed to do that um, coming in there. So we're now pretty much just holding out for, I mean, it doesn't even matter that we're going to be taken by like a couple of laps on. Oh, they're not doing repairs, are they? stalled it here and um, I don't think I've got a button bound for refiring. Oh yes I do. But damn it. We don't go go. Oh dear I've accidentally now I've now accidentally put the AI in. So yeah. 
I think this experiment ends here. Because I've accidentally put the AI in, so we're going to do something else. And I know what I'm going to do. Because I've raced trucks before on this channel in NASCAR on ovals. So we're going to do it here too. Damn it. But it's not going to be trucks to see. Here we have an actual truck. You know. Uh, let's go for a Mercedes truck. Um, you. Yeah, that'll be back fine. We'll just change the track to... Um, what's it called? Fontana. So we can do the road course, but we'll do the oval. Uh, we'll just... Uh, yeah, that's fine. What we will do, though, is drop it from that to, like, 25 laps. Because 40 laps seemed a bit long in it. So let's see here how this goes. I'm sure it's going to be fine. Because trucks race on ovals in America, so this should be fine. And good news, we are on all weather tyres here, so we won't have a problem at all with, like, rain, if it happens to rain in California. Which it does... 16. Five laps. Also, the trucks appear to be sliding off. Also, that's quite a concern. Um, we need to have at least... I'll just do 30 laps of fuel. Um, yeah, all right, let's just see what can we actually change here. Uh, fuel map for radiator opening. Boost, boost. Can we turn it up more than 100? Oh, boo to you. Um... What we may want to do is drop you. You can't be... Oh, you can. Just drop you to about three bar. Uh, and then we can... Yeah, we, we're not going to be breaking much, are we? Let's be fair here. So, close down these uh, brake ducts. Same with the cooling, actually. We can actually... About... I mean, that's a bold move. What about... Oh, we can't change a wing... So that's okay. Also, what's this in terms of a gearbox? Well, it's an H pattern for me. Oh, come on. Let's just restart there because um, I got a penalty for passing. But I was putting my glove on, so I feel like that's a bit unfair. That's a fine start by me. Right here. So here we go. The trucks are racing at Auto Club. aren't long enough. Oh, that could be a problem. I got a massive front end damage apparently. Don't know how I got that. Maybe it was a bump drafting that's all he did. Also, I yeah, yeah. See, we're going to need to restart here because I've just noticed what my oil temperature is, and it's 135. Track see, that's a bit of a problem here. So we need to definitely undo this here. If we need to just open it all up, and can we? Uh, hang on. Higher will allow more engine torque, acceleration. No. So we want to have the lowest final drive because it's one of those things that actually is the opposite of what it says. Uh, so that's done here. Let's see if this is any better. Go. 
I am going. No, see, that's actually significantly worse. So that's lied to me, clearly. That's lied to me, something fierce. So let's try and go out of here now and fix that. Because you can't really drive a truck that's just banging on the limiter. Or is it not the arrow thingy? Is it actually the opposite thing here? Can we? Oh, we've got another gear in this thing. Ah, oh, maybe if we use all six gears, it'll go a bit better. Now we've got a penalty again for jumping the start, which I don't think is fair. It's a bit, a bit of a dicky one, this, because they obviously... We were, we were supposed to be in third gear, so copy that. So th let's see here, lights on. Trucks are racing and out of good. down this straight away which is somewhat disconcerting doing a hundred two hundred and thirty two kilometers an hour in a truck Around the loop, and then bump drafting. Right. No, it's a truck. Oh, we got a good run out of turn two right there. Right right. And let's be honest, the truck tours would be better if they were actual trucks. I feel like I'm doing NASCAR a massive favour here by showing them what they should be doing. It's a truck. Oh yeah, again, we've got to be patient on the throttle. So you get a massive run out of two right there. I only just managed to squeeze it up the middle. But my God, that front right is so hot. At this point, I would like some rain so I could cool that bloody front right down. And it's a right hand tire, so I can't even dip it in the grass. And cool it that way. It's going good. It's looking good. We're actually sort of moving our way through the field of trucks. Although that's obviously a terrible line. The hard line seems to be working well for the others, so we're trying to learn off of that. That front right is 162 Celsius. That's hot. That's really hot. Again, a good run here. Ah, we, 
we were up the wall there. But we crawled the front right a bit. Oh, so these are much faster than I actually expected them to be. I think we're touching. Oh, we're touching. After that, no caution though. I don't think I'm meant to look over the wall because <laughs> it's fairly sparsely decorated out there. But it's going well so far. We had a bit of a moment, but we're up to six. That's quite a lot of tyre squeal, though, it sounds like. And are they going free wide for the lead up there? Are they? They are, they're going to be free wide for the lead into turn one. Oh, I'm going to have to come out of this one massively. That's going to cost me. Nearly jammed it into reverse there for a moment. It's going to be massively costly here. On your left. Clear left. Oh, but that's two taking me in one corner. Oh no. Yeah, that front right's really killing me here. P8. P8 though, that's good. And lap eight. How <laughs> many lap eight? This is stupid. Oh. Oh, oh, he's loose. Oh, but look at this run. Massive run out of turn two. Here we go, back to six. Oh, we got a closer gap out there. They're side by side for second. The run that hell out. Just when I go off the throttle, all I do is hear is tyres squeal. Right side. Uh, we are understeering here. Uh, uh, I, I think, yeah, I think I was three wide there. Right out. Yep. I feel entirely safe in what I'm doing. Are we going to be sided one here? Fucked off. Still there. Stay right. I definitely don't think I'm meant to look over that wall. I think we can retake the high line here. Yep, there we go. Yeah, I don't think the high line's working for me at all. Look at that. We need to be running that low line. I don't know why I can't get it into 5th or 6th that well. We'll make it work down back to 8th. Here we go though, we're going to take him back. We're going to take Monchero back. Down the inside we go. And it's Borgus. Down the inside. Right side. There we go. Still there. Near that. Right. Wow, we understand really hard into three. 
it might be that 163 temperature on the front right. That might be it, you know. Oh, yeah, contact there. Sorry. Right, engine temperature's fine now, so that's excellent. lap round. Oh, massive understeer here again. And they're right on the back of me. We can't see them in the mirror because the mirror can't really be seen. But uh, yeah, just 0.8 of a second behind us, which is nothing in a truck. I have, of course, prepared very well for this by doing some pre-event testing for the next round of uh, SRM, the Baron Rally. So I'm perfectly prepared for rover racing by driving down some Czech roads very fast in a Ford Escort. because the massive amounts of understeer came much further into the corner which I think is how we drive this There is so much tyre squeal underneath this stonking great turbo, it's unreal. Which shouldn't surprise me given the um, astronomical contact patch that we must be having in these things. And the field has spread out pretty evenly now. We've not had any cautions, so we just have to run our own race here. Fuel is good, we've just been told. There'll be 11 laps to go after this one. And we're closing up here to the guys in front. We'll be with them at some point if we keep this up. on the throttle a bit early there. We've actually grown that gap now, we're pretty much smack bang in between Fernandez and Monchero. That's good. It's under control so far. I would of course like to get further up the field. They're going to be side by side into one here. That's going to cost them. Oh no! That's uh, an ambitious line being taken there by Fernandez. <laughs> I 
This is so stupid. And how great is it that we're actually allowed to do something so stupid in a game? Because they could easily have locked it off to like cars that had oval setups on them or something like that. But no, no. We can take the truck cup out on ovals. And of course, we've got some damage. So that's hurting our lap times too. The lap time was at 52.8. Sarah is now in the lead. Now the question remains well, with uh, seven ish laps to go, we can get further up than these two because we have a massive run out of this one here. City. We made it through. We're just 10 seconds off the lead. I mean, we're not going to get there. Although they are side by side. So they could crash. And that could bring me closer. So far so good, lap 18, P4, and the truck race, you know that good old truck race at Fontana Auto Club Speedway, yep. Fernandez behind us now. Aren't they planning to turn this into like a short track or something? I seem to recall hearing about that. Got a bit more engine damage now. Is it from all the thing we're telling me to shift up being on like all the time around here? Maybe it is, you know. But it's going good so far. I bet these spectators wasn't expecting to see this when they turned up. But I'm probably sure they're glad they have seen this. I certainly know that I want to watch some of this replay afterwards. Because it has to be pretty wild. I mean, we are capping Sapeldini. Sapellini, pardon me, behind. I <laughs> then they lift off. All I just hear are tyres screaming for mercy. Oh. You'll have mercy in five laps time. Now shut up and get on with it. Side for the lead. Martin's ghosts for the lead. But what are we going to see when we go out this corner? They're still side by side. Martin's down the inside. 
Passes on the inside, Montero on the outside, down to turn one. Merton clears him on the inside. That was a good move. Come on, old truck. Come on. Come on. Just three more laps until we get a top five in in the race. Oh, oh, but Montero's back. Montero's striking back down the inside in the third wall and he's got it. He's got it. Martins concedes. But now he's kind of looking at Martin's going to be looking down the inside. Oh, I'm in the fence there because I'm looking ahead. Yeah, Martin's down the inside. Montero's holding the outside. Holding on to the outside. It's the side by side through turn four. Martins is now in the lead. Yeah, Martins just reclaimed the lead. But what are we going to see when we come out of turn four? Yeah, we have Martins. They're tucked in. Single file. Oh, but Montero's looking on the inside into turn one. Will he do it? Two laps left. You've just done fifty-three point one. What are we seeing now? Montero's cleared him. It's gonna be a last lap battle. Chira holds the high line in turn three and turn four. Martins looks on the low line. They appear to be side by side still. Where are they? There they are. Yeah, Martins looking on the inside as he's taking the white flag. Martins on the inside, Monchero on the outside, turn one. They're gonna hold the battle, they're gonna hold the fight, they're gonna stay side by side. But oh, Manchero's got him. Manchero, no, Martin's got Manchero. Yes, it's Montan's in the lead. Montan's in the lead. Protecting low in the turn three. Oh, but Manchero's going to do a crisscross. He's looking to do it. No, he cannot do it. Into turn three, into turn four. He's got to get a good run out of turn four. But can he do it? I certainly can't do anything because I'm too busy looking at that. Who's got it? Who's got it? Who's got it? It's Monchero! No, it's Martins! I confuse the names because they both start with M. But Monchero... Has the win. And we bring it home in fourth place. I want to watch that replay. Because that was... That was wild. Oh, that's, that's, that's not at the start of the race. That's just here. So if we skip the cool down lap, we can have you the replay. So here we are, front row. Oh, he's in the fence already. That's Borgus. That's Borgus on a good run down here.
to that. Oh, that's... Oh, oh, oh. Big moment. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's so stupid. Oh, that is. Oh, that's. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's. Oh, that's. Yep, yeah, I love this. Okay, we, 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 we're going to do better. We can do better. We can do multi class. That's what we can do. No, no, we're not going to do that. What we are going to do, no, here you go, and is it GTE as well? Yeah, well, we're not going to have that. Uh, what we are going to have is a actual over racing. Um, let's have some Gen 3 Formula USA. Uh, and what can we do? What can we do? We can do Copa Fusca. No, no, not Copa. Let's do Copa Classic B. Don't remember what they are, but uh, there's something out there. We'll be driving the truck, of course. Oh. oh, that's genuinely the best thing I've ever done. I've done a lot of good things in video games, but that is the absolute creme de la creme of stupid things that I've done. So let's try March here. Oh, wow, that's... I love games that let you be this stupid. Because there's, there's, there's no way, like, I'm racing an actual lorry. In a race where there's going to be like, little dinky toys and bloody um, Indy cars are going to be here. Old 90s Indy cars are going to be here. It's... it's <laughs> This is going to be stupid on a whole new level. P6, 20 laps. The track temp is 27. The air temp is 22 Roger that. Celsius. Uh, we've got enough fuel. So maybe what we want to do... Uh, I mean, what we want to do really... Let's first of all, let's drop that down here. Uh, not a symmetrical, right? Because camber angle... Wait, which one is it that you sort of want them to be? I don't know. So I'm not going to touch anything in here. Uh, gears, let's just confirm here that we are the absolutely... Yeah, we are the absolute longest gears that we could be, really. can't do much there so uh, let's see uh, can we change tie compound actually we haven't bothered checking that no it's just truck scrubbed so let's keep your nose clean so once again we're at the back well you've got um but uh, some Indy cars up there. Hang on, we, we have nowhere near enough Indy cars here. Oh, I may need to just quickly tweak a setting or two in the lobby. Because I don't think, not lobby, This the options, this isn't multiplayer. So if we load it out here very quickly, we're going to opponent settings, max available 31. Oh, is it saying 16 because I'm in, in that class, right? Uh, so, maximum available custom. Um, I'm only allowed that, so let's have that. And let's get in here and see what we can do in my truck against Indy cars and, and other cars and trucks. Because I'm sure this is going to be just fine. Like, Trucks being side by side in Daytona, probably enough to just block the track completely so the Indy cars can't get through, but I'm sure that's going to be fine. I should probably put a rear view mirror on now because I've not really bothered doing that. 
and that like seems like something I should do when we get in here in a moment. We will before we get rolling. And also third gear options. Let's do HUD. Uh, mirror it full on. Save that real quick. Oh, I'm ready, boy. <laughs> it's a fucking mini. This is a far more uneven surface. Oh, we're checking up big time. Oh dear, we're caught up behind the slower cars here. Hiya! <laughs> this is bump drafting! Brazil style! Christ alive, this is a much rougher surface. when the indicars are going to catch us first time round I'm leading my class So that's the first, first culture we've had. Which uh, probably shouldn't surprise us given the fact that we've got uh, Mindy cars out here. saying wide awake I'm just flat out still because I haven't caught up yet oh dear yeah 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 big dramas big drama somebody was on the roof oh dear god am I just gonna come charging in at the back because I'm so far off oh they're up here Those light panels aren't working. Clearly that's not been patched in yet. Well, I know they will want to do like light panels and actual flag marshals in a later update. <laughs> what is this? What is this stupidity? <laughs> oh dear, I've actually had wheel spin off the line there. That is a problem with Indy cars, of course. Oh dear, we've got a traffic jam. This Mini and this Indy car can't get past the truck.
fantastic. Let's follow that Indy car through. I mean, how long until the next caution? It can't be long, but uh, I am leading by a whole lap right now, so we can take it a little bit easy. This is a whole new level of stupid. coming through in a moment. Holy crap, he could just drive through me. How is that possible? So we got a passing class approaching from behind. They're apparently fighting for position. So uh, we've got to watch out for that. Uh, we had a bit, a bit of a wobble there. Oh yeah, I got an IndyCar motorcycle rear view mirror. Oh, here they come. Here they come. <laughs> I got it. They're, they're fighting. They're racing. Is that Michael and Dreddy behind us? Right side. Looks like Michael and Dreddy to me. Yeah, of course, full ball shallow. Caution's out. Oh, somebody's had a big drama here. There's a wheel there that's not a good sign. Taking me. What's happening here? Double yellow flag. Keep an eye on me. All right. Clear right. Right side. Uh, coming up on a slower class car. What? What's happening right here? This madness. Double yellows, watch out. All right. Watch your line, play right. Ooh. 
I have no idea why they've been allowed to overtake me, but apparently they have. I love my rear view mirror right now. I can see a spoiler of an IndyCar and then a Fiat Uno. That's absolutely what we need to be seeing. Green this time by. What's interesting is my front right isn't cooling down significantly here. It's really struggling to get some heat out of it. So we're now waiting on the leader to go. Apparently somebody's managed to overtake me, which seems wrong, but I don't know. Yeah, mate, you're waving that, weaving that indicator. gear when I go on the throttle I spin the wheel rear wheels because we've got so much torque because it's a massive diesel engine doing a multi-class race over race here with the cars that we are but this sort of stop and go on a restart is definitely not cool <laughs> those empty cars can't get past those trucks again by an indie car mate you're not meant to run into the back of me a bit here. That's that's what we need to do in our trucks. That went well. Caution, everybody. Stop it. On your left. Still there. Hold your line. Still there. Clear left. We are having some issues right now. I'm sure we're going to sort it out and we're going to close the ride back up again here.
what's happening when what's that about eh Okay, so halfway through this race, let's see what we can do in the second half. Let's remember our tools and all that. some front damage we've got some engine wear so we need to be aware of that but yeah this sort of start stop thing doesn't seem right for like over racing but again we are running what is at best can be described as an eclectic mix of cars and then probably more realistically wasn't quite designed to take all of this into account so yeah I'm gonna give it a pass for now and frankly I'm amazed that I've been able to get this far but um, we are here we're in behind D Hardy and then we've got in an Indy car in front of me I've got a Fiat Tipo or Fiat Uno behind me and I'm in a truck so this is obviously entirely sensible and I don't know why Reza hasn't taken into account I'd do this immediately obviously what else would you do you see they're warming their tyres I need to not warm my tyres because that front right is going to be hot is it Adrian Fernandez behind I don't know what's more intimidating right now, seeing an Indy car in your rear view mirror or a big truck when you're in an Indy car. I, I got a feel, that's not nice. I mean, I know what the answer is if you're in a Fiat Uno or one of those cars, because you're just gonna be frightened of everything behind you. Here we go, ready to go, ready to go. Also, this isn't like, this isn't how oval greens go. Oh dear. He's been held up massively there on the restart. But we're back on the green at Daytona for the truck and IndyCar and Brazilian cheap touring cars. Oh, it's Martins in front of us. We're racing him for position. momentum there otherwise we had a good run down the inside we're gonna have a good run down the inside here actually right. there we go we just got a lap lorry in front of us on your right. You're on the left, three, wide. three wide for the lead in the class right. there we go Clear this right. is truck racing at Daytona Going for the high line here in a turn one. Left side. Left side. Clear left. That's actually worked. That's actually worked. We're going to go the low line here. We're going to grab Monchero. The class leader from across the class is behind. On your right, watch your line. Clear right. Back into the lead of the class. 
On lap 12 out of 20. Things can, of course, change if we end up catching the uh, Brazilian cheap touring cars. And, of course, the Indy cars are going to come through again at some point. So everything can still happen. We've gotten back to the lead of the class here. Uh, that means the Indy cars are coming. <laughs> so stupid. Again. Oh, they're going to split me. Oh, I've been hit up the arse. I mean, I have a feeling they will be even more insane at uh, Fontana because they're quicker around a track like that than this. Quickest right now. I'm quickest in my class, presumably. I'm not quicker than the Indy cars. Jesus wet. Oh. This is such a good, awful idea. This is like clear plate racing as well because they'll just flat out all the way around. So even in that sense it's perfectly accurate. Francis has retired from the race. The captain Martins behind is increasing limits now. Oh, they appear to be quite slow. Are we catching the touring cars? We may be, you know. So they put up a wall there that I don't think is there for the real race. But I could be wrong on that. Don't recall uh, Daytona having a protected pit lane. Oh, here we go. We're coming up to the uh, Brazilian cars. Yep, I've noticed. <laughs> All we need now is for an Indy girl to come through as well, and it's just top of the more of our fantastic. Right side, oh, I'm a truck, motherfuckers! So yeah, it definitely sounds like the indicators are coming back round here. I could get through to if the other trucks are moving through the uh, Brazilian field. Oh dear, here comes the indicators. to watch some of this on the replay because this is fantastic skip the call down view the replay please so let's go up here to Michael Andretti or Michael Confetti bit premature for this angle I think look at this it's one of 
we go down here. Meanwhile, in the trucks. Oh my word, look at that. <laughs> What even is this? Like, what the fuck is this? Let's increase that shutter speed a bit then, shall we? The issue with being on here where I don't have a proper mouse is that it doesn't really work that well. Oh, that's not what we want it to do. Yeah, that's, that's so stupid. Oh my god. Oh, and they've caught a mini! <laughs> oh, wow. Oh! Oh, no. That's, that's, that's the dramas that we saw then. So we're now on the caution. Okay, let's have a look at this replay here. Oh, this race start here, because this... This is going to be wild. So you got Michael Andretti here shooting up. They're being blocked by tracks. Oh, he's caught up behind that Fiat Uno. Oh, that sounds so nice, though. Listen to this. Oh, yes. Absolutely wild. Can we do a hello drone camera, please? Thank you. No, not what we want it to do. I'm using a trackpad for this, which is admittedly not the best, but it's what we have because I'm in my oh my word, look at that. We need to just go go back here. Is this oh, it's such a shame that it doesn't actually um freeze with the effects on there, but hey-ho. Well, the particles weren't on there. So then, ah, uh, uh, there we go. They've now caught the back of the, uh, the small class here. So they're making their way through that. Which is all well and good, right? Yep. Okay, let's leave that there. Let's leave that there because that was absolutely stupid. And I love it very much. Because that is what we need to do. And also I need to make a very, very weird sound now as I get up with my sim racing boots on. Because I need to very quickly pop out. So a second. I will just sneak away, you won't notice me walking away at all, as you can hear, very quiet.
I beg you to hear me approach again with these rubber soled racing shoes on. So, what can we do now? I'm thinking Auto Club might be. Uh, we've been through all the ovals, right? Um, country grade. Vacation country. Well, they're all going to be in America, aren't they? Let's do America Auto Club. Let's see if we have a gateway. We have Daytona. Let's do Auto Club again then. Yeah, because we won't be doing the lorries. Uh, we could be doing it in that. Oh no, we're doing it in this. We definitely. Oh no, but that's sequential. That that that's not what we need. You're also sequential, but I don't have my wheel set up with a sequential shifter on, so I need to be in something with an H pattern. Uh, what can we do? What can we do? What can we do? What can we come up with here? What brilliant idea can we come up with? Uh, sprint race again. That's too new. No, no, that's also sequential. Top top Pro Series TSI Cup. Should that have sequential? I'm not sure. Oh, we're definitely using that one though. I mean, I reckon I'll need to exit the game if I'm to change uh, steering wheels on my rig and I'm not really bothered with that right now. So we need to find something with an H pattern. Oh, I know, I'm, I know, I know, I need to be driving a Fiat Uno now. No, I've terrorized them. I now need to drive a, we do it with Cooper Classic here. Yeah, let's do it with this one down here. We need to be driving this. We need to be finding the right. Oh, yeah, I'm telefunking. That's what I am. I'm a funky telephone in a Fiat Uno me. Uh, opponent settings. Uh, we'll just need to edit the classes here. So we'll have that. We won't have. We will have generation one of you. We won't have the trucks. Um, but we'll have you. Then what else can we have down here? We can have. Well, we are. Oh, we're gonna need to have the. Um, Super V8s, where are these Super v eight? Super V8s, are they further down? Oh, there might be, you know, there might be down here, Super, Stock Car, Stock Car, Stock Car, Super V8, there we go. There we go. This is eminently reasonable and sensible in every single way. Yes, it is. Because we are going to be slow. Oh boy, we're going to be slow. But we're going to have some good old Indy cars. We're going to have some uh, Aussie V8 supercars. This is going to be good. It's going to go fine. We are only going to die massively. Which is good, because that's fun. So, oh. Yeah, see, this is more fun than just doing a standard, like, IndyCar race because I don't really want to drive those cars because while they're very cool and I've enjoyed watching place, 20, racing oh we, we need to put a bit more fuel in here what about the gears can we no let's not tweak that because we want to be on a level playing field but we want to tweak the uh, let's tweak the air intake if we can no no we can't can we put in any boost pressure? No, of course we can't. It's a Fiat Uno, mate. We can do stuff for the rear diff, but we're not going to. Okay, let's try to avoid the turn one clusterfuck. Yep, let's try and avoid that turn one clusterfuck, mate. Go, go, go. So we're green flag racing now. What's that? Green light for well, I don't know. Left side. Hold your line. Still there. So we're probably going to have a pretty decent fight here. Clear left. I would expect that, and we might just be flat out throughout. Let's go up here in behind the uh, Scirocco, the VW Scirocco I think it is. 
some, yeah, somebody's on our inside line. Attack in behind, whatever that is. Oh, we got trouble. We got trouble. Somebody died behind us, I'm pretty sure. So that was one lap. I think barely even. Watch out. Oh good, we're right behind the leader here. So this cannot in any way go wrong. And we've got, who's that behind us? Is that Marco Greco? It would be Marco Greco, wouldn't it? So who's leading this thing? I can't actually see because I don't know how to change that. No, no idea how we'll move that about so you can actually see who's leading. We definitely got Marco Greco behind us. This will be good for the engine temperature as well, I would imagine. Or well, maybe not, because we're going so slow. Got double yellows, double yellows. I know, mate, I know. We are up to, how are we sixth in class? There's only three cars in front. Yeah, I don't think these safety cars will cause yellows really, really works as they should yet. But again, I, I, I'll admit, I'm sort of doing things with them that I probably shouldn't do. Here we are, we're coming back to green this time, bye. To Sheeta coming through. Ryan Herter too. We've got Teo Farby. <laughs> I'm just going to hold the inside line here that's the only thing I can do it's the only thing I can do hold the inside line oh god they're back <laughs> oh that's Scott Pruitt and Carlos Guerrero. Oh, here comes more. Ichiro Matsushita. And Teo Fabi, Brian Herter. Eddie the Chiva. And Marco Greco, Parker Johnstone, Emerson Fittipaldi. Car 
Oh dear, I think the supercars are coming back again. Oh, oh no, it's actually the pack that's closing up. I'm starting to be worried that my oil temperature is too high for this car. Oh no, but Larry Perkins gone through. Is that Cameron McConnell or Cam Waters? Oh, and now the IndyCars are through as well. Yeah, that was always going to happen, wasn't it? Was always gonna happen. Of course, we've been told to slow down, but I'm doing 191. So I'm behind Cam Waters. The end of this lap, we're going back three, which will be good. Double yellows, watch out. So we've got Cam Waters, Cameron McConville, and uh, Carlos Guerrero. I mean, I don't think any leader has been picked up in this whole process. Um, who is the leader? So I don't know how they've decided this, but, but we will take it. You'll take it here in the Fiona. I mean, obviously, I've got the class leader behind me, and I don't think he's cleared me by a lap. Oh that was a massive burp. We do apologise. Gonna go green here. Double yellows, watch out. Oh, nearly had a run on Cam Waters. How is that Mini so much faster? Holy Mother of God! <laughs> oh, that was nearly big death. That was nearly big death. Oh, I think somebody's lost their rear wing. Yeah. Oh dear. I'm not sure I want a pet, you know? Like, at all here. I kind of want to try this combination at Bathurst, though. 
Because that seems like such an awful idea that has to be done. Oh, the, uh, the yellow light does light up. At the same time as a green one, they just haven't turned the green light off, which is probably what's catching me out, because it is on, but the green light's obviously also on, which, yeah, that is what's confusing me with that. Try and cool down that engine as much as we can. Just leave it in full there. And you definitely—it seems like they close up too much, which is sort of causing this start-stop thing to go on. Tire temperatures are fine. No dramas there. We're going to wear out that front right a lot, though. This is a front wheel drive car, so that front right will be under immense pressure as it will be putting down power and turning. So, this should, in theory, be understeer central if it was fast enough to understeer here. Oh dear, somebody's lost a wheel. So somebody's crashed under safety car. It's not a good idea. That is very much what they are meant to prevent. So here we are. Will we get to the end this time? I suspect not. See what we can do. Double yellow flag, keep an eye on me. So back to green, class leading mini just flies away in the distance there. And I just went for a seventh gear that isn't there. Do we need to hold it high to build up momentum? Maybe we do. Watch out for that seam, you know. Got to be called on that. Oh, come on. Oh, another 
the safety car. Something tells me running this with full caution on was a bad idea. But that's too late now. We've committed. We shall see this through to the end. I would like to remind everybody we are under full course yellow. We are catching with the pack. My lap times are exactly the same as when it's green. <laughs> this Pieruno has no power. There's no reason to run the high line. Where is the pack? <laughs> Where is the actual pack, really? Uh oh. That isn't good. I mean, we were ahead of um, Parker Johnstone and Brian Herter. So something's happened, but yep. Look, I can empty a class leader who's just entered the back stretch. Oh, there's the pack. Go green again. We've got double yellows, double yellows. Let's see if we can do that tie, by the way. Still sitting in there on the infield. Nothing we can do about that. Our course workers aren't going to bother going out there getting it. Yeah, let's warm these ties up. Okay, let's off. Let's off. Damn it, he's too fast. You want to try and cheat and jump him? I can't. Oh, this is bad. This is really, really bad. What is this? We're following David Reynolds through. We're up to second though. That means the entire field of these cars are now a lap behind the leader. And hopefully we can make it more than a couple of laps this time. No, I shouldn't have said that, should I? I tear four bees out. I have a horrible feeling that the pack is actually behind us. Well, let's flip stream up this Volkswagen. Scirocco? Bora? Or is it one of those Brazilian ones?
Okay, can't see the pack yet. I right, turn four. Oh, there it is. It's just entering turn three right now. Oh dear, we've had dramas again, I think, under caution. Yes, we got a lap back on the leader. For a moment, anyway. Very much borrowed time, this. Oh, look at that, that's messed up. Can we do here? We need to just get through as safely as possible. I not hope that we have another yellow. I mean, the only way to really benefit from that is if it's the class leader that's in the yellow. And we need to draft off for these guys because I don't have the power they do, apparently. Oh, he didn't go through there in the middle. That's not sensible. I've, I'm overtaking in an Indy car. No, I'm not. Open Matashita's in the lead, I think. As he was a lap down. Oh, I've just blocked an Indy car. That's Eddie the Cheever. be P2 in class which is all the little Uno could hope for let's just give it a bit of a breather here right it's Scott Pruitt who won and then we had Hiro Machisita, we had Mario Greg, and then, wow, we've got uh, Aussie V8 is up there for Larry Perkins, uh, Eddie the Cheever, Cam Waters, Cam McConville, Lee Holdsworth, James Courtney, Paul Dumbrell, um, Russell Ingle, who else is here? Let's just go down a bit. Uh, David Reynolds, Mark Scaife, uh, no, is that, who's that, is that Taz Douglas, not, uh, Chas Mostert, I think that might be, um, yeah, I reckon that might be it, and then, oh dear, we have a few that's down there, so let's keep the cooldown lap, Left side. and as I said, I've, I've got to give this a go around Bathurst. Because that is just such a majestically terrible idea I've had there that I need to do it. Not for a full 20 laps. Not with a safety car on. That is a bloody show. Full calls, yellows off, please. And then if we find B for Bathurst. There we go, because Bathurst is best place ever. 
Let's do it down here with like six laps. Let's, uh, yeah, let's run into that. That seems fine. So we're in the Telefunken because I'm a funky telephone me. And that's what we're going to do because that's fun. We have a choice between softs or wets and it will be medium cloud. So softs it will be doesn't tell us the temperature, but we do see here that we have a mighty 1.6 litre, 127 horsepower engine in this machine. Now, see, I recently had a chance to drive a Toyota Yaris GR, also a 1.6 litre uh, engine. That's a three cylinder, but that has 260 horsepower and four wheel drive and a six speed H pattern. And that's fun. That's a lot of fun. But that's not all what we're driving here. No, we definitely don't need that much fuel in here. We just need to have full lap. No, we need to have more than that because we're doing six. Obviously, let's just do 12 litres of fuel. I'll put my gloves on here and get ready to rock and roll. Jam it into second. So, green flag here at Bathurst. Oh god, it's front wheel drive, I should have realised that. Should have realised that. I've already got like 4% damage engine there. Great work by me. So this is probably going to be more of a scrap, I would imagine. Partly because I don't know how to drive a front wheel drive car on this on an actual racetrack. So this is going to be fun. Yeah, that's a problem there. Jesus Christ! Hold your line. Clear right. Right side. Clear right. Massive lock up! Oh, oh, that's no good. Over revved it there. Massively so. Yeah, I know. That's quite a slow lap time around this place. So now the question remains when we will see IndyCars. Or if we will, or if it will be um, the OCV8 that makes it through on account of having not crashed.
we've got to get a good run over the mountain now. It's not going to be easy getting through behind us, is it? Because um, that's a full track blocker going on, like a moving track blocker. Oh no, here we are. So what will it be emerging first? Just run Michael Andretti off the road there. Oh God! We've we've had a bit of a crash there. That's what we've had. Wow! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Cam Walt is leading in the supercars. It is actually Cam Walt is leading the supercars. Well, I hope we get a Ford Falcon. Hey, not the Mustang, because that's... I'm not really a fan of that, but I would like to see the, um, the Mondeo. Uh, Falcon make it in the game. I mean, realistically, I'd like to see uh, like a 2014, 2015 uh, grid make it into the game. I've also the edge because that was uh, absolute golden age. And yes, I would absolutely drive the Volvo. Why is there a pit bloke there? <laughs> to come in. Big fire. Big fire and flame. Clear left. Sideways. Big fire. I think it'll roast the entire car I'm driving. This is far too much fun. Like driving this car around him. We are driving at Bathurst, but uh, driving this thing around here is quite fun, actually. On your left. Left. Hey, you're rusty. Who's that? The only one I can think that would be is um, uh, Mark Winterbottom, who was, who was called, like, Frosty.
Okay, apparently we can do that. Didn't know that. Oh dear, it's uh, the Indies again. Down Mountain Straight. Here comes Shaq Villeneuve. Oh, he's going to come next. My overlay says Michael Andretti. Then Jimmy Vassar. Oh, then Hiro Matsucha. Empty Faldi. Who would that be? Or Titi Faldi. Anyway, there we got Marco Greco, then we got Brian Herter, all over our back of us, then Raul Bosell. That's a bold place to go around the outside. position there. But it has made everything a bit rough. Yeah, but it's just rear suspension, that's fine. He had a redress moment there, didn't we? I think we've been passed twice by the Indies, so... There should be check-in flag, right? Yes, it is. happened that uh, went okay given the circumstances Trish, Tristan Tristan oh shit Tristan 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 ah uh, that's annoying me also why is James Vase that's Jimmy Vassar isn't he Canadian uh, anyway this this wonderful, wonderful clusterfuck of a stream has been Automobile East 2's overall, mostly, uh, edition, and it's, oh boy, it's been a blast. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, we'll wrap it up now so we can get ready for the Pilot Challenge race to start in about an hour's time. Because, uh, yeah, I need a short break now because that was so much fun. Thank you very much for watching. Good.